You're on Griffo Media, I'm Griffo, thank you for checking out my channel. The reason you've clicked on this video is probably you're into arcade racing games just like me, so thanks for stopping by, I appreciate your time. Little subscribe button down below and a load of videos if you're into this kind of thing. Not just racing videos, but also some of those uh, retro games and stuff. Um, this was made famous a decade ago on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It's called Grid and it came in a variety of different guises down the decade as well. And uh, we're gonna race it today in a variety of cars and some of the levels, which use a different car each level. Uh, this is the arcade version of that game. Codemasters did the original. Sega took it into their cabinets and you'll still see this in various arcades around the world. It's really good fun to play. This is racing in 4K today with a Logitech G29 wheel and pedals. We have a little reset button programmed if we need it. We get fired off because uh, this is a Fast and the Furious style game that you actually get knocked off the course and stuff. And you can see you've got different views. So you've got the bonnet cam here, or hood cam as they call it in America. And you can go behind the car, and then we'll get this view perspective here. Now the first bend, <laughs> that's the challenge, because usually you get knocked off the track and spun around and all of that kind of business. So uh, Washington's the first track, looks very pretty. Maybe somebody's getting inaugurated. Sometimes you can benefit from that. Somebody getting knocked and spun out and then you uh, regain a place, but obviously equally that can happen to you as well. You can be coming around that fateful last bend and then get shunted off and then you come six. So it's, uh, look, I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? But that's how this game works. Somebody whacks you from behind, and then before you know it, you're in last. Let's walk a bit up. Right. But we're not giving up, guys. We're plowing into this bend here. We're going to, you know, worst to first would be nice. I don't know where he is. Kind of there. Take this bend. Guy that got me before, we'll have some of that back. It was, it's hit, wasn't it? Ah. Right, here we go then. So I managed to uh, <laughs> jostle, jostle up to. Uh... What did he lose then? Something flying around. Okay, so final lap. Sometimes on this game it's not good being first on the final lap because that can happen. I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> you'll be on the last bend and then uh, similar will happen to what happened to me in the first lap where I'll just get shunted off and uh, have that uh, horrible feeling of being last. Horrible feeling in racing. I know I'm first, but uh, the standard of racing has not been incredible, has it, to be honest with you. There you go. So we got first on the first, Washington. Well, that's how close they are behind, and they're always kind of nipping at you. And as you can tell from that um, first race, is that you can be in front thinking you're doing really well, then all of a sudden you get that little nudge into a bend and you can get spun out. But we didn't give up, did we? We continued. So uh, that's the first course, really nice, Washington. I do like city tracks in racing games. It takes me back to Gran Turismo 5, you know, where you've got London and Milan and all those kind of built up courses that you're racing through cities, which a lot of games kind of lack nowadays, I find, especially the Forza titles. I mean, you've got Prague and you've got uh, the Rio tracks um, and Dubai to a certain extent. But I, I do think that a lot of racing games are kind of missing that. So I did press it. Um, yeah, should we go to the dodge? Let's go to the dodge, shall we? 
but yeah, I do I do like the city racing. I just think it's a lot to look at, isn't there, as you're racing through. I mean, I, I find F1 games really boring. This has got a nice little grid view at the start here. You get the Golden Gate Bridge kind of in the distance, which looks nice. And if you've been to San Francisco, you'll kind of know that scene. There it is. So, Hood Cam to begin with. Bonnet, you're from the UK. And then of course, that's nice, isn't it? Nice little view. That'll be probably the screenshot at the start of the game. See, just getting bashed all over the place. Who cares? We'll bash your back. And we'll race and try and get a first again. Here we go. Another pretty city course, obviously. But yeah, it is proper fast and the furious compared to the uh, console version. again and again how dramatic is the music on this game oh. I have to step up my game Himself, right? I'm going to take this. Not too early. Oh, now. No. Last lap. We're going to get him, aren't we? Here? Yeah. Always oh, taking that too wide. Just got that tight. guys oh my goodness he's nudging me he wants my place I'm not going to give it up so easy or am I I've got no choice now yes Whew. pass me a beer so there we go, there's another course for you. Really pretty. San Francisco really looks good. It's 10 years old, this game. And uh, still looks fab, doesn't it, in 4K. We'll do Milan and then we'll jump into, I'm not gonna bother with a Spa course, because kind of F1, bit too silly for me, to be honest with you. So I won't enjoy that one. Um, comment below though, if you want me to do a video, Spa course is there. Good list of cars actually on that one. Milan's my favorite. And uh, here we'll jump into this car here. It's lean. Most of these cars in the game are concept that kind of came to fruition actually, as this is a decade ago. But anyway, let's yeah, let's do Milan. I do like this track a lot. It's really pretty. Sunny day. Arcade games supposed to be sunny days, aren't they? And bunting and maybe a beach going by. That's going to happen in Milan, obviously. But here we go then. So that looks nice. And then you put the car there and the car there. Whoa, this looks good. 
and this has got quite a few long stretches so uh, oh crikey shot it all over on that first bend right this is going to be a tricky one I think to get a first but hey let's try it Straight, isn't it? That getting a few spots as well. <laughs> Took advantage of that, kind of. <sighs> Rewarding and frustrating at the same time. That's what it's all about, right? Cut that a bit. better though is there Friday night few beers get your arcade racing on Milan and another first there we go so yeah it's a good game this I, I do like it I prefer it to the console version purely because of its arcade playability it's just really fast as you can see you're gonna get knocked off the track you're gonna be bashed here and there and you're just gonna have some fun and that's what I play games like this for. You know, how long have we been on this game for? And uh, not long at all, but I've had such a buzz. Um, right, let's go across to the championship just to show you. So you can do like the Washington championship. And there is a San Fran one as well, but you can do this one, which I'm really interested in having a look at. Um, which car haven't we been? Right, let's go the Supra, I don't think we've been that one. So uh, this is the Toyota, I think we maybe went this one on the first race, but hey, doesn't matter. Just gonna show you the Detroit track and um, you know, see if we can get through on this. This is a nice looking city track as well. So give us some comments below guys, always appreciate it, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. That's great. Leave some comments in the comment box. There we go, there's the hood cam, the bumper cam. And then we go behind the car. We did use this in the first race, actually, didn't we? But uh, this is Detroit, which uh, no another great track. But he says. Ah, no 
lunged from behind again. That's the thing, you start to break before a bend and you just get knocked. And then of course, before you know it, you're all over the place. I'm getting knocked by sixth position at the moment, which tells me one thing, I've got to speed up. Locking me from behind. So, of course, this now is a championship scenario, so you've got to get a podium to continue, which, uh, I don't know, it's not looking likely, is it? To be honest, unless I come out of this. Well, I did it, didn't I? It is look at the crash sometimes on the bend. position. Tough isn't it? Tough. Put me through my paces here. One. Yeah, am I first? How did that happen? How did that happen? There we go, so we proceed to the next round. We'll do that, won't we? Because, you know, what's the point in ending the video now? So we get to do Milan round three, Long Beach. Not done Long Beach before. Wow, now we're talking supercars, aren't we? F1s and all of that. So uh, should we do the McLaren? Yeah, let's do the McLaren. Have a crack at that. So Long Beach, this is a new one to me. I've not even played Long Beach, so uh, I'm very excited. Very excited. We're playing this for the first time here. This is in Florida, of course. So don't expect a podium finish, but you never know, do you? Wow, wow, this looks mean, this looks mean. Mind if I hop in the car? Let's do some racing here. Wow, this is fast. This is proper supercar status now, isn't it? McLaren, F1, just feels really good. on this one, I, I, I think it'll be alright at it, but uh, I have played this actually on Project Cars, <laughs> the layout's a little different. Ooh, that's a All it'll take now for me to uh, do alright at this is a few spin outs on a bend and then uh, through a pack like this. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Out of the way. That's exactly it, isn't it? Worst to first in one bend. Arcade racing in its finest, that guy's right. As long as I keep a top three, then we're going on hopefully to a new track that I've never played again, so. we continue guys right I'm liking this game even more now I really am uh, that's a really nice course actually Long Beach very fast 
Um, and obviously my first go at that, so quite impressed to get a first, impressed with myself. Uh, let's see if there's any other new courses. If there's not, we'll end the video here. Um, so, round three, spa. Not tried this one, so I'm gonna race probably in the Veron. Right. This will probably be the last one now, guys, but uh, thank you for checking out the video. Anyway, any comments just below? This looks difficult. I should have gone spa, right? Okatama. Japan. So, there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the steering's so loose on this. Pedals keep slipping on my rig. I took it apart the other week and I haven't bolted them back on, so uh, every time I use the brake. Now, there's a, there's a course pretty similar to this on Project Cars, isn't there? It's probably based on this, or it is this. Which is a cracking little game in VR, Project Cars, if you've never tried it. Very recommended. Just a shame they're not going to make any more. right something always happens when you're filming a video guys isn't it but I ain't stopping now well they're still in a a few seconds away so uh I don't know why I lost control there. Because there's nothing behind me but the car just all over the shop. Right, straight over the grass, let's see if we can get back into play here. Make a checkpoint. As we saw in the last race, it only takes somebody to come off on a bend and uh, we're right back into the mix of it all then, aren't we? So, fingers crossed. Okay, see what I mean? How on earth? How on earth? For those of you who left the race early, shame on you. Life in the old dog yet. <laughs> Woo! That's where it came off last time, isn't it? You can see it all shunting me all over the shop. Starting to get used to the car. The steering on this car is uh, insane. Back into sixth. Ah, this, this level doesn't want me to do well. Look at that, I'm oh, just terrible. Make the next checkpoint, that is the question. I'm not doing that. Come on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Can't finish last. No, no, I, I refuse. Got no choice. Oh my goodness. There we go guys. I think I've gone as far as I could go on this and my pedal slipped. So I'm using that as a bit of an excuse as well. Uh, there we go, great game right? Grid, Sega Arcade Racer. Subscribe button guys, thanks for checking me out.